Hey everybody, I'm Taya, Senior Developer Advocate at Auth0 by Octa. In this video, I'm going to show you how to spin up a brand new .NET project already configured with Auth0 in less than five minutes using Auth0's new .NET template. Let's get started. Uninstall Auth0 templates if you already have a previous version installed. Next, run the command .NET new install Auth0 templates. Once the templates are installed, you can create a new project. I'm creating a new web API, calling it my new web API. Next, you're going to select yes to run the command to register your project with Auth0. If the Auth0 CLI is installed and configured, this should be a very easy step for you. And that's it. No, for real, that's it. Let's go and validate in our Auth0 account to make sure that our new API, it has been registered to our account. It looks like it has been. And finally, let's go into Visual Studio and open it to make sure that it is configured properly in our project. And it looks like it is. Okay, now let's run it. We're gonna have to let it build and then we'll test our API. Next, we need an access token to grant us access to our protected API endpoint. Navigate to your API within your Auth0 dashboard and click the test tab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and grab your access token. And finally, take that access token and add it here. Now make sure you don't accidentally copy the bearer part like I did, otherwise it won't work. And there you have it, a new .NET Web API configured with Auth0 in less than five minutes. If you have suggestions on other things that you would like to learn more about, feel free to leave those suggestions in the comments below. Happy coding!